welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again here is the headline for today never again yoruba nation freedom now or nothing else 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 something will happen so this is what he, chief sunday Bo and professor banja came to have came out they came out and we are really angry you know, they look at their history and how the the Fulanis even actually gained ground in Yoruba land. If you look at Kwara State, when um, Professor um, Banjakinto gave the history of that land, he said they were not Muslims there, that it was one I will conquer for, that is um, Afonja, that turned that Kwara State into a Muslim state and told all the muslims to come there because he will build rebelled against you know i don't i've forgotten the place he mentioned sorry when i really taught history in school he rebelled against um i think or your or something like that so he now packed all the muslims into quara into Ilorin, and then trained them where he now appointed one muslim man as the head of all the imam so when afonja died the imam now you know with all his connections made himself the king of that choir land so when the yoruba the yoruba discovered that ah, why will a stranger be ruling their land and they decide to go and fight against the, the the then muslim king of that land and then they were attacked and when they attacked them, one of the king was slaughtered. He, they cut off his neck and he was killed. And that was ever since Muslims, Fulanis, have been ruling Kwara State. So now if Yorubas really go back to their history and really reason it very, go back deep, 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 go and answer those elders, they will know that the Fulanis, they don't have a say in Yoruba land. That they only came to take refuge and then because of the fact that there was no unity among Yorubas, they now used to stand and became became began to rule Yoruba land. And now with this fact, Yorubas are angry. Prophet Banja Kinto, they are angry. Chief they go, they are very angry at what happened. And they are saying never again would they allow those Fulanis to rule over them, to make them slaves even in their own father's land. Because how can the child of the meat seller be eating bones? Like it doesn't make sense. Professor Banja Kinto said, God has given us, the, God has chosen us and given us the type of culture that is meant to unify the world and to unify men. Or because of our own ignorance, but because of the fact that there is no unity among the Europeans, it has turned upside down. He said that Elohim was not conquered by the Fulanis. It was not conquered by the Fulanis, but it was conquered by Afonja, the then Awekanka for of Yoruba land. He said that Yoruba, whenever we have the disagreement over politics, we tend to destroy ourselves. That's one thing that's really seen holding Yoruba down. They tend to gossip about themselves, backbite against themselves. They tend to you know, do things against themselves. They tend to support other tribes than themselves. And it doesn't make it's not wise at all. It is not wise at all. So Chief Sunday Bo said something that many are called to fight this Yoruba nation struggle, but few are chosen by God. And he said God has chosen him to help the Yoruba people to get out of the slavery. The same way God chose Moses. Although God was the one that fought the battle, but he chose Moses to be his representative. That's how God has chosen him, Chief Sunday Go, to be his representative among the Yorubas. He said, who is he? Who is he compared to God? That God just chose him. God just chose him to do the work, and he's trying to do his best. And God is going to strengthen him in Jesus' name. Chief Sunday Bo said God is the one fighting for Yoruba nation. That if not, that had not been God, ah, the Fulanis would have slaughtered all of them. God has been the one protecting them. 
He said God has chosen him to speak and people will fear. You know, do you know that the Nigerian government, they are scared of, of Chipsonic Bo now? They might not be showing sure, but they are scared. They don't know the strategy will come with. They tried to kill him last year and he escaped. But now they don't know the strategy he's going to use to come in, to conquer Nigeria. They don't know the strategy. So they are kind of scared of Chisondek Boho. So Chisondek Boho said that he once spoke to the governor of Ekiti, Fayemi. And I know most of you love, most of you guys love this governor of Ekiti, Fayemi. They love him. Most of you guys love him. But one day, the governor of Ekiti said, that Fulanis have right in Yoruba land. Help me to reason that matter very well. Fulanis have right in Yoruba land. How? Can Yorubas boldly go to any northern area and say, hey, they have right in this particular land? They, they dare not. They will not come back with their head. But now Fulanis are coming and saying that they have rights in Yoruba land. It doesn't make sense. He said, Yorubas like fire me. They are the ones that usually fall the hands of people that trust them. People love fire me. Most Yorubas love him. But what he's saying now, we don't know if he's not, if not being bribed by the government. We don't know. Just some people say that there's nothing anybody can do to him. They can kill the messenger, but can never kill the message. Let me say that again. He said that there's nothing anybody can do to him. That is Chief Sunday Bull. They can kill the messenger, but they can never kill the message. And when he said that, everybody in the meeting room said, No, they, even if they kill the message, they will never kill the messenger. Amen. Pray that God will grant him long life and prosperity in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, The Fulanese are not up to six million, but they are ruling us. They make laws that favor themselves and their family and even their state and communities. It doesn't make sense. People that are not up to how many millions. They are ruling people that are more than more than them. Like like I know this improper fashion. I'll be out there to use that word. It doesn't make sense. He said Chisholin Bull said that in the next three months, the Fulanis will know him. They will get to know him. That the ones that they have known him that that one they don't really know him very well. That they will get to know him. That what he has been doing since all this one that he has that have been seeing him doing huh, that that one is choco is play play that when he comes out fully they will be shocked although they have machine guns they have all these ak-47 whatever they have and in yoruba they don't have all those kind of things but he said there's something he can use him when he see those full is he can ask them to give them to give him their gun and they'll give it to him <laughs> with the kind of thing he's going to use against them so thank God is preparing for this valley because it's not going to be easy. I can tell you that boldly from my heart. So what do you feel about this? What do you feel about this urban nation struggle that is going? I know it's very intense now. It's getting very intense. What do you feel about this? Let me add this in the comment section. Do not forget to like this video channel. And also do not forget to, thank, to, forget to comment. Thank you even as you do so.